Thundergrunt. And I want to tell you something. You can go ahead and choke on this little mushroom kingdom all you want, because I'm out of here. I'm out into the bigger world. I got a, a couple of plumbers bringing me the rest of the meteorite. Soon to be dead, plumbers. And by the way, you really ought to pull yourself back together again, slime bucket. In a small little ship in the center of Mars was a sack of souls with experiment scars when a second of the monk said, I'll take two, and he put them in a rocket and he ate a lot of glue. And he shot them to earth and they turned into babies. They were named Bob and Matt and they really got rabies. And the monk made a movie of their whole entire lives. They were pen and obscene then zooms of the thigh. And one time Bob had sex with a ladle and one time Matt lost a vet to a cradle. And another time Bob caught a dinosaur mom and another time Matt bought a replica of Guam. And all this more is on a DVD set. Only twenty ninety nine with the purchase of a gem. But if you call right now and say, where's my whisk? We'll include this bonus disc. Hey, oh, welcome to bonus <laughs> disc. I'm one of your hosts, Bob Rose. With me is another host, Matt Pierre. Hello. And with us is a returning guest to the show, Mike Ridgway. Good evening. Hey, Mike. <laughs> so uh, we're all going to try to stay awake. Oh, no, my dear I'm Lord. I know you're fine, Mike. Mike's fine. I, took, I, took, I took a nap today. I'm sort of okay. Matt <laughs> yeah. is not. I'm falling apart. <laughs> I'm disintegrating from the brain outward right yes. now. Uh, like you said your brain is eggs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, it's it's wet, good. wet eggs. It's like wet scrambled <laughs> eggs. So, so Mike, uh, your last episode, yes, was Malibu Express, yes, which was written and directed by a filmmaker named Andy Sedaris, a maestro of the of the craft of the art, right? Mm. And that was because. For a, a long time ago, you bought bonus disc the show mm. as yes. a gift. You bought us a 12, uh, 12 pack. Yes, of of we Andy's added to the archive, the archive of bonus disc. That's a big pile <laughs> on the TV uh, of Andy Sedaris action pack. Guns, girls, and g-strings, I believe. Yes. So. Because of that, whenever you come on the show, we're just kind of eating away at this pack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have nine more I to go. I can't believe how many there's <laughs> left. I, our lives. I'm going to be a fucking I mean, we might all be dead this. by the time we finish it. It's fine. <laughs> um, so for this episode, we watched Picasso Trigger. Mm -hmm. I just, Based I, on the fact... I, I feel sick. <laughs> I feel sick even thinking about having to do all this. The name of the movie... Everything about this movie is awful. We watched awful. it because because a man was named Picasso Trigger. Yeah, it's a great on name. the back. Yeah, right. <laughs> and that's the only reason that it was chosen. No, it's it's just that's a legitimately funny name. It's a really funny name, and mm. that's why we chose it. I don't know if it was <laughs> the right criteria for choices. Anyway, it's not. Uh, if you've only been up, if you've been awake for like a day and a half, <laughs> with an hour or two of sleep, it's not a movie to watch. No, I'll get to tell no. you that right now, it's not a movie to be watched. We're glad Mike's here. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm glad to be Matt here. Matt is half asleep. <laughs> I don't know what I even looked at. I had a great time. Sure. <laughs> it's so rare that I feel so lost. <laughs> like I, I, we've been doing this for five years. <laughs> I'm like I don't know what's happening in any scene. Okay, the amount it's of it's times an hour of forty hour and forty minute movie. The amount of well. times I it's... woke up to you screaming, <laughs> "What is this?" And but who is that? Like, Why does everyone know? look either completely insane <laughs> or completely identical? I can't. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's it's a very dense psychological mm. movie. It is. It's dense many as layers. Hell. It, uh, at times, it almost felt like it's like a Guy Ritchie movie or yes. something. But it's, just, you know what I mean? Like it's so dense <laughs> with characters, but we're doing anything. Wheels within mm. wheels within a fuck palace, right? And locations, planes, trains, and automobiles. I don't we'll know get anyone. I can't not remember a single character's name except Miguel Olivar, right? <laughs> don't, it, or I fucked that Ortiz, up. Mr. Ortiz. Anyway, oh, all right. I got it wrong. We got to do this. We got to get into it because we're going to melt okay. if we yeah. don't. The movie uh, starts with, it starts with incomprehensible <laughs> footage of a painting that we were all just like, what is this? Yeah. Well, what we assumed it was a painting because a Picasso trigger is a name. Right, and then we'll see. Well, it died even vital oh to God. this movie is the fact that there is a fish 
called a Picasso triggerfish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you find out that there is this international crime lord whose code name is Picasso Trigger. Because I guess I well, we haven't found Lord. that out yet. Okay, slow uh, down. It, 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 slow yeah, down. Yeah, but I love I love all that. It's like I have no idea what's going on. It's like no, no. We are doing the integrity of the movie. <laughs> yes. I think Matt's just like if I'm sitting here to do this, yeah, we're, we're doing, doing it, it right. We're doing it right because otherwise, we're not doing I it. will fucking do this in three sentences and go home and go to bed because <laughs> goddamn it, this movie's terrible. Like yeah, yeah. just spies, fucking okay. explosions, <laughs> bye. <laughs> it. So yeah, it, it's a it's like those credits are over top of close ups of a painting that we cannot see it as a whole. Yes. Yeah. Then we cut to shots of France. Uh, BMW. Yes. Oh yeah, uh, France. France shots, right. Exterior shots of France that have no characters or anything, and it's just like stock somebody went footage. stock footage of France. Then we cut to a house, a private residence. Yes. That's like a mansion. Yes. Oh, that black car pulls up. Black car pulls up, and a priest man of yeah. some sort he's wearing an iron cross he looks like a know. religion a man of the cloth yeah. but he's not he, apparently i, I, I don't think he was was he <laughs> no, he's, no he's a crime priest yeah <laughs> <laughs> crime priest. okay so crime priest <laughs> yeah he goes in the house and we see a man dressing yes and it's uh, i don't know what that guy's name was well he gets handed a package what his what the actor's name he gets handed yeah. a package. Well, it's, tr- it's Picasso Trigger, baby. Yeah, it's Picasso Trigger. <laughs> he, has, he has a very large scar on his chest. Right. I hate this which, movie. Uh, which seems like it's a huge deal. Because they make a deal of showing yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. If it comes... Do they? Look or is it. everyone's shirt open? <laughs> yeah, it's Whether you're a man or a woman, you yeah. just have an exposed chest. Yeah, that's true. At all time of the day, no matter where you are. <laughs> Sorry. God. So he's dressing it's a in a he's getting, world, man. He's putting on a tux. <laughs> To get ready for something while watching a video. <laughs> yeah, the video was in the tape that just got delivered. The delivered, yep. and the video said, "It's it's some oh guy saying like it's a guy Thank who looks you like your he... support will ruin our enemies or something like that." Yeah, he... something like that. He... Dude, that guy's head looks like a chia pet. <laughs> It looked really weird. <laughs> yeah, the bad and, he was, guy in, is and he was in front of a really odd wall. I, I remember that in the video. Yeah, it looked like an Al Qaeda yeah. video, yeah. and the guy's watching it while like getting Al Qaeda and Max Headroom. If you cross the two, that's what it looked like. But no, so, it, right. it's, so, so it says what information again? It says it's, him, it's like it's like a rally to arms to th- yeah. overthrow the guy who is watching the video, right? No, that's maybe it is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I can tell you what that video is about. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. I mean, I don't. I mean, I can tell you the significance of it. Of it, significance of it later on. I have no idea what that guy. Okay, said. we'll worry about that later. No, I, it I doesn't think, matter. Yeah, I, it doesn't matter. The, I, well, it doesn't matter what I. think. The guy gets dressed <laughs> and he leaves his house in his car. Yes. And then right after he goes down the road, <laughs> crime priest and some. <laughs> who was the other person? Just some guy. Some guy. Some guy driving they're Luke. driving a motorcycle and crime priest is in the sidecar <laughs> <laughs> and it looks as stupid as you think <laughs> they're, they're just driving through the streets of paris and eventually they you just see him pull up onto a lawn somewhere circle around the tree yeah. and park yeah they're like are on the grass and, and there is a lot of you see all the driving like yeah. it's uh, a lot of driving. we always talk about how in these types of movies that you know you're in for a treat when yeah. you're just seeing travel there's time. a half an hour of travel time in this movie it, Dude, if not 45 minutes it's so much travel this movie's time. an hour and 45 minutes it is a tr- it's a i mean that is a travesty <laughs> against humanity the amount <laughs> to of make a transportation footage you could use from this movie i mean it's the 80s it could have been 75 minutes and nobody would have been mad like <laughs> Oh my god! It's That's hour, I will minutes. give this movie props. They get in pretty much every fucking mode of transportation. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, except that minus if a that was Andy Serkis's goal as an artist, <laughs> he is uh, the greatest artist <laughs> in history of mankind. Anyway, so yeah, crime priest. <laughs> He pulls up on, a, ah, on mind. a lawn that's like maybe 200 yards away from the museum, yeah. the entrance to the museum, where we see like where we see uh, Picasso Trigger. Picasso Trigger. <laughs> he, goes, he goes and he donates a painting of a Picasso Trigger fish, and he gives a long like speech, speech about how much he loves the fish and, and what it means to mankind it and how it's, and, yes. it devours its enemies from the bottom methodically. From the belly. Right. Yeah. Right, and he gives that speech, and then there's a woman who is mm. waiting for him after the speech yes. next to some... We don't know what it was. Dude. It was some sort of rock, rock 
it, sculpture. It was just, it was just, just iron. I, she's it just leaning it. on the art, man. Yeah, they were it just touching like part, it. It did look like art. She was yeah, touching it. Maybe it's a I, uh, interactive piece. It's an, <laughs> it was like a carotid or corroded. It was iron a texture exhibit. Yeah, cactus sculpture, <laughs> tactile art. Uh, and he's th- leaning on it like a dickhead, like yeah. putting his arm like all the way through part of the thing. He and, owns uh, the museum, Matt. At this point, he donated the Picasso trigger fish. You can do what you want. <laughs> the best part is, is that oh, we're saying this. <laughs> he gives this epic speech and it's like a painting of a in fish. English. It's, yeah. it's great. It, they're in France. I know the France thing. I don't even want to talk about. Okay. We it doesn't matter. <laughs> we can never discuss the locations of this film. <laughs> oh, it's dead. That's a dead subject. Dude. <laughs> There's so many. It's they, like every five seconds. Everyone looks like they're just standing. Oh, my God. You'll cut between two blonde women discussing something <laughs> on a beach. Two, two blonde women discussing something on a different, supposedly different beach. And it's like one one of those people are in Las Vegas and one of them yeah. are in Hawaii. It's easy to figure out, man. And it's Dude, Wednesday. Jesus All Christ, right. Mike. This is like, it's insane. Okay. It's, it's it, like a stage play where there's don't have any set dressings. And they're just like, yeah. we're in Maui. And you're like, dead. You could be standing on a log in a lake, and you're just gonna say that. It doesn't matter. It's insane, dude. Uh, it's it impossible these, to track the movie. What do these two talk about? <laughs> dude, uh, Mike, please tell me you remember for the love of God. How does this talk about like vague spy shit? And then Picasso. It's trigger- like they said stuff, and it was like I, I was like listening to Charlie Brown's parents. I couldn't, I couldn't understand anything. It's a, no, that's not important. It's important. <laughs> The Picasso trigger goes outside. He goes outside, and we see crime priest in the middle of a lawn, in the middle of like a city. Daylight. Paris. Yes, Paris takes out like a fucking musket rifle. Yeah, there's like parked cars with people in them less than five feet. That from rifle him. had to be from like the '60s. It was, it was so it old, insane. if not yeah. older. And he sh- he shoots Picasso trigger through the chest. Yeah, right in the- dude. Yeah. As soon as he hits the ground, he hits that wall. There's a down. there's a big splatter behind him. Oh, it yeah. is a big blood pack. Yeah, but he hits that wall and slides down. And by the time he is like finishing slumping over, there's like people taking photos of him. Yeah, but there's a man, a pre, like there's a, a crime priest, he's, he's right, right there, there. Right there. Right there. <laughs> on a, it's like you can see him, like obviously, like oh, where that bag from? They look and from? they like, look oh. nuts. Like, it's right over there where that weird looking guy with the iron that's cross around his neck. Andy Sedaris is an artist because his perspective on what life must have been, like a yeah. world where everyone looks like fucking weird <laughs> and shit just doesn't seem right. Like, it's you're like, not allowed to look at it. You can't be like, if something was out of ordinary. It's like nothing <laughs> is ordinary. No. Since everything's insane looking. Uh, right what you know. Uh, everybody is right. a 285 pound meathead with his shirt open. <laughs> Everyone. And, Everyone. And sharp facial features. Yeah. yeah. And the world's most amazing rat tail, but we'll get to that. <laughs> yeah, oh, we'll get to, oh, Lord, wow. that guy. <laughs> We're going to spend so much time on that guy. Oh. Uh, He's incredible. What happens <laughs> after this? The, expanding the crime lot. priest calls someone, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah, we did it. And you find out it's like the guy who was on the tape earlier, like they're coordinating with him. Because they and call that, him, right? Yeah, yeah. And that kicks off a cavalcade of other killings, I think. Yes. Um, this is, I couldn't, I, my right. brain, <laughs> my brain started like short circuiting during this like montage of people getting killed. So I think next we skip to the Vegas casino. Yes. Where With the cowboy girls. Are yeah, dancing. there's a couple cowboy girls dancing on stage at the Greenhorn Lounge, mm-hmm. I believe. And, and they're like, not dancing. They're really just kind of shaking. Yeah. It's just like they have a little slightly choreographed number they spent like five minutes on. It's like, oh, yeah. I'll put my leg here, put my leg here, and, and then, then shake, ba- shake. Bounce our boobs. Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much it. Yeah. And a bunch of people watching them. Some of them are crime guys, and then some of them are other cops. And the cops are like, oh, there's oh, women. Wait, wait a minute. minute. Yeah, <laughs> you Mike. can't just skip over that these cops looked. They look yes, fucking nuts. That's true. One is like, uh, he looks like he's a like a melting beetle man. He was gross. He's like, no, 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 no. Those aren't guy. the cops. Yeah, those, they are. No, those, those the are co- cops. No, yeah, the no. cops. Yeah, they are. What? Shut That's, up. No, the, they are. Shut up. Because the they're talking about the women on stage. <laughs> right, Mike? The women on stage are cops or spy. Fuck yes. spies. So, yes. So yes. The, the one cop is just corpulence defined. He's the big beefy dude, 
right? Yeah, the, with that the blonde guy. hair. Yeah, the guy yeah. whose face okay. is like it's all ready right, to rip right. open. Yes. Yeah. Yes, okay. that guy. Okay. And then he's with the guy who looks, he's like a fat pug of a man. Yes. Oh, they, right. they okay. could, I thought you were talking about the dudes. No, no, okay. no. So those two like, guys, no, they're, they're the weirdest people They're alive. dressed like Italian mafia hitmen with their clothes. Yeah. But they're just wearing black suits. But they have those long, like, 70s, oh, they do. 70s collars. Right. And they're saying how they're mad at the women on stage for getting all, like, the better assignments, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, the yes. <laughs> Look, the, I'm trying here. The frog man is like, we should be up there. And the other guy goes, what, what are you fuck? saying? <laughs> That's, like, the best line in the movie. Because yeah, like, right. yeah, he's like, what are you talking about? Right. Like, we can't yeah. be up there doing that. And then you go to the crime guys, and you find out, like, one of the guys there, like, makes snuff films, too. That never really came to fruition. No, but the okay. Oh so God, the woman, yeah. the woman who was there with him. Like, yes, I. It comes yeah, to the, yeah, come to the old man really. at the. So there's a, a girl there, and woman. he's like, his. What was his name? I don't know. Because he's cares? like you. You have, you're, you have you look so beautiful. Yeah. You have it, baby, or whatever. He's talking yeah. to her, and he ends up making out with her. Yeah. He's like, you're gonna work for me. It's gonna be great. She's like, I don't know. And he goes, No, trust me. And then. So then he then he tells his lackey. He goes, he, fuck he, like, him. This guy wore this ugly sweater. I don't he, know. He looked, was, he looked like he had a... We can't talk... Okay, the clothing I, I was, know, I know. The clothing you're right. I'm was sorry. provided by Fion. <laughs> yeah. with, with two N's. Two N's. F-I-O-N-N. -N. Yeah. That's why everyone looks insane. Fion. Because a human named Fion was the costumer. <laughs> oh, God. I love the credits. So, this movie. It was so good. So the cops go to leave, and then the crime guys are like, "Hey, take care of him." Take and care of him, yeah. And he, he and he gets up, and he has like he has a homing device he puts in a corsage. <laughs> oh my god! So and he goes before they walk out. He goes out to the front and finds like a, a bar a bar lady. Yeah, like and he said okay, a barmaid, and attendance. he's like. I want you. There's two guys that are coming out. I want you to plant these. The, of course, they, they want a bunch of money. Yeah. They want a bunch of money. We'll give them these flowers to take care of them and, and make sure mm. you know they feel make some love. Right. And he's got a homing device in one of the flowers. Yes. Yeah. So mm. she's just like, oh, here's some flowers for you. And, and they're, they're like, both like, oh, 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 she kisses yeah. them on smooch, the cheek. Smooch. Yeah. And then he's like, oh. I'm going to. Oh, the guy like faces mm. off like to the like side of the camera is just like. I'm going to go drive through the back roads. I know a shortcut to if, headquarters. If our car even makes it. Yeah, they wanted us to look like a couple of natural country bumpkins. And, and then, before that happened, though, wearing, like, the, the bad guy walked right out of the casino and got into a helicopter. <laughs> oh, my God. That was yeah. amazing. He's right out of the casino. He gets in a helicopter. Yeah. And, and then they get in their, away. their bucket of shit car. And yeah. then... God, they end up it. in the desert and the helicopter. They're alone in the desert. They're having some bullshit conversation in the car about what? It doesn't matter. It no, doesn't matter. Because okay. they're about to be decimated. Yeah, they're they're, the listening, helicopter they're listening to the radio and they hear about Picasso triggered get dying. Uh, right. And then the helicopter shows up and they start panicking. Uh, like, yeah. what the fuck is that? And so I they love stop it. To shoot I love at that it. the helicopter needed to have a homing device. Yeah, right. It's like, They're like alone in the desert. I already left the building and I'm floating above the building in a helicopter. I, just I just look, watched. Who please. can just watch and see? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, man. So then it, they stop and try to shoot the helicopter down and it blows them up. Yeah. And then, then, <laughs> oh, then the oh. bad guy sends out the signal that the hit has been completed and he, uh, he pages someone on their pager. It says, hold on, I wrote it down. Mm. Oh, right. Uh, it was the limerick. The ones with the flower have been scattered this hour. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. <laughs> right. Because that was, like, part of the so that, killing. So that, right? yeah. then we skip to Hawaii. Right. And there's a couple in a restaurant, and there's a couple <sighs> other creepy guys there. And these people are given lays, and they're talking to a woman who turns out to be in the spy club later. <laughs> and so the the couple, they're like, oh, so spy glad club. to see you. You're, right. Oh, you just got married. You got back from your mission. It's like, yeah, we're going to go hang out for a while. We're going to walk <laughs> on the beach. And so the bat, the other guys follow the people with the lays. And they have, right, you know, it's they not have fair. A, it's not fair that you, the, the listeners, get to hear you go. And they're sitting at the table with a spy woman. <laughs> Because when you watch the movie, you're just like, here's two fucking normal people 
talking to some fucking lady and they're getting hunted down by God knows whom for what. Like the also, scenes in are a wide shot. insane. It's not like close-ups yeah. where they seem like characters. Yeah, it's like every, a true. wide shot. So it seems like, am I looking at like set dressing people? Are they extras? I, I, are are they, they humans do look like that extras. matter? <laughs> Dude, it's it's so good. to know what's going on until the end of every scene. And then you're like, the next scene starts. And you're like, <laughs> what now? Who the fuck are these people been? And it's new people. And then they're dead or maybe they're not. Who knows? Well, every, the, the lay first people, 20 minutes of this movie years are nightmares. I love they're called, they can call them lay confused. people. The yeah. lay people walk down to the beach and then the two thugs, they take out an Uzi put on a silencer and then use it as like a sniper yeah, rifle. He shoots yeah. a single bullet, a single bullet from like 100 bullet. feet away. I'm like, dude, that that's With like a, a short Uzi? range not accurate weapon. Yeah, no, yeah. He just fired a single bullet into that Kills guy's them. Spine. We have no Kills clue them. who they are. Well, he shoots the guy and you're like, "What?" What the fuck is happening? <laughs> yeah, right. And then the woman pulls out a gun, and you're like, I don't understand anything. Well, then she gets shot anyway. Yeah. And then they send off the code word, or the the, the code phrase, give them a lay, blow them away. <laughs> I'm glad you wrote that down, <sighs> dude. And then we cut to the farm? Or am I forgetting another kill? I think it's like the, isn't it the, there? No, there, that's after that. Is that where we get the two, the blonde ladies waking up? Yeah. Oh, oh, we missed. <laughs> <Jesus. laughs> we missed the me. cowboy guy calling the guy on the Malibu Express, just like out of like out of the blue. Oh right, so, yes, yes. There's about the, Picasso Trigger dying. So there's a cow. Was a, like a fat headed cowboy dude. Yeah, he's like it's like a Joe Don Baker from like Golden Knight character. But it's not him. No. And then there's a guy that he's on a boat called the Malibu Express, which, which I gotta great. assume is either a callback or it's, it's, yeah. a reused boat. Yeah. Right? This came yeah. this came after Malibu Express. So. Right. And this guy walks out in the tightest speedo you've ever seen. It, it is. Yeah. It is very and uh, he ba <laughs> and then the Joe Don Baker guy tells him that Picasso. he wants him Picasso Trigger's, Trigger's dead. dead and they think And I, doesn't he and he tells him he wants him to look after that woman, oh, right? Yeah. The woman yeah, that like, Picasso, Picasso triggers dead, and, and does he that? Does he know that his operatives are getting killed at this point? No, he doesn't. He, yeah, okay. I hate this movie. Uh, okay. No. Then, what's I, the, then why would he be like? I need you to. Hang. No, because so the woman he he says that because the woman who was talking to Picasso Trigger was one of his agents, and he's like, "Oh, Picasso Trigger just got killed. She might be in danger too. I need you to go. Oh, gosh, you gotta go. Take a. I need you to go take care of her. Yeah." fine okay sure. mm -hmm. but then we th then we cut to some uh, it's not him going to see her yet right no then it's become then we go then into the, the killings then we go to the boat where you have uh, the two women two... who were dancing earlier no 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 that's a blonde and a brunette these are just two this they're first introduced right here yep uh two different women oh who... my god I, I thought they were the same uh, people. No. Woke up in lingerie. One of them took a shower. <laughs> the, well, other, the other uh, very I am Mike, sexually put on Mike, a bathing suit. You're like speeding through it, but it is, it's a very ceremonious it shower is. and uh, dressing scene. Like, no breast goes to waste in this <laughs> no, moment. If the breast gets exposed, you're going to get plenty of time to check it out. Yeah. Make sure and you get good. some like xylophone music when it's happening. God, fuck <laughs> the soundtrack to this movie. It's crazy. It yeah. goes from like really cheesy, like infomercial music to like some kind of video gamey bangers actually during the chase scenes yeah right where you're like okay this is like this is like a, is a, it's like all out. right this is a great video game movie yeah it yes. is we've yeah yep. as we established it is uh so they are the two ladies are going scuba they diving are collect, they, like they are collecting collect. samples for their marine biologist friend <laughs> who we'll meet later the greatest the most the sexiest man alive <laughs> wait what we meet that guy no, what? not here. They're collecting it for him. Oh. Samples of marine life. It does. Yes. <laughs> so they, 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 they like, they're like hanging out on a beach after getting the samples. Yeah. And they're like, oh, there's a little plane flying <coughs> around our. Well, boat. we see, we see two oh, thugs yeah. get out of their car and they have the ones from earlier yep. that shot the people on the lay people on the beach mm -hmm. and they have a remote control plane. Yep. I thought this was so amazingly confusing because. They're, they they let the plane fly and they're circling around the oh, boat oh. and you're like okay so they're gonna ram it into the boat and make it explode no. but no they're waiting 
for the for Ortiz, Ortiz to tell them to blow up the boat when he's not even there. Yeah, he's right. Well, no, he, he he's like, he's from scene. another. He's like at another bluff. Yeah, looking oh, at okay. the boat from another angle, and he calls them, and he says some crazy line too. I forget what he says. He says like they'll, they'll never forget, uh, you know, my vengeance or something like yeah. that. And so then they ram the boat or, with the plane, and it explodes. It's getting close my, to the boat. My favorite part of that scene is one of the thugs is Asian, so he takes out a kamikaze headband oh, and puts God. it on. Goes, and they're just oh, like, ha, 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 kamikaze. <laughs> <laughs> and if forward thinking oh, Andy Sedaris. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, so that explodes. The girls don't react that much. They're kind of like, oh, it's our home. Oh, I guess. Yeah. Well, so- Let's move on, I guess. Yeah, after that, they're like, well, we should get out of here. So they, they hitch a ride in a town that I'm probably skipping over some other stuff, but I just want to get you? to this. Probably. Uh, it's a mess of a movie. You're right. I mean, I, um, we could have already this, ruined it. I've at already this point. started. I already started blacking out. Yeah. <laughs> so they get, a ride, they get a ride into town with I, some I, dude. They're like, they get in the back of this pickup truck and they're like, we, yeah. we're going to town. There's somebody who's trying to kill us. Then they get to a it's travel time. It's total yeah. travel time. And then they take like a little touristy train. And then one of them's just like, oh. This fucking scene. <laughs> yeah. I swear to God. I didn't even know what kind of train that was. It looks, like, it looks like a train at like a King's that, Dominion. That, that, yeah, it's like a quarter of a mile in yeah. a circle, and that's it. But they yeah. get on it like it's a commuter train, but it looks like it's like Thomas the Tank. <laughs> and they're just like, oh, what do we do now? It's like, I guess we should get somewhere. Get they get off here. the train and get on. No, then then one of them's just like, <laughs> I am down to fuck. Look at that guy over there. Right, oh, yeah, there's two guys. Yeah. Like that, your home just got blown up, and you're like, you know what I could go for? <laughs> Some dick. Some Some meat. Dick. Yeah. And, and then it there's a the, weird boner joke right there. What was the boner joke? The guy had something in his pants that was insane. Oh yeah, like, oh, why not a banana? Like, you just happened yeah. to no, see. No, it was me not a banana. Something. It was like a some kind of like pipe or like a what was it, man? I can't remember. It was something weird. I don't remember. Like an exhaust she made, pipe. Or she something. did like a '50s voice. And yeah, stuff, but but it wasn't a banana. It was either it way. Was it cuts away Damn from it. all of that mess. And After then, watching them fucking ride a train for no, a car, a train hit on dudes. Cut to something completely and now for something completely yeah. different. And then they get into a plane. They change right. their clothes and they get into a plane. Well, oh, yeah, so. you're right. Oh my god. Now wait, that cuts to something though. It does cut to something. It cuts it to might... I think it's when the it's, it's, it's fat-headed the dude. Cow- yeah. It's the farmer guy. Yes. Because he dri- he's driving up to his uh, farm on like a little golf cart. Right. No, no, no. He's <laughs> riding up on a horse. On a horse. So he's going from the golf cart to the horse because that's why I was like, why didn't they blow him up when he was already in the golf cart? I thought he was riding no, a horse. No, he never got in the golf, for- golf he cart. He was riding a horse the whole he time. He rode the horse up and then he talks to his like ranch hand. And he's like, Lopez, go up to the house and get us some <laughs> coffee and sandwiches. He's like, see, si, senor. I love that he says and us. Then, I was like, Who, who's us? Because he's being followed. We know that he's being being followed by thugs yes and he tells lopez to go and lopez gets in the jeep drives about lopez is the only name i remember from right, the right. Yeah. Oh, man yeah. died this is terrible he gets in the jeep drives 20 feet and explodes yeah, <laughs> yeah like okay and then so that's when he calls <clears throat> the he calls i don't remember the guy's name i'm look, he kind of looks like hasselhoff Yes. He's got Hasselhoff hair. Oh, the main character? I have the absolutely main character. no idea what his name was. Yeah. He looks like Nobody a, ha- said a shorter it. Hasselhoff. Did anyone yeah. ever say it? Like, seriously. <laughs> I, it's not I, Picasso, Trigger. I know I, that. Yeah, I know. I, I don't yeah. think anyone ever even said his fucking name. Yeah. I, yeah, I have no clue. It's, it's For an there. hour and 40 minutes, no <laughs> one spoke his name. No. Maybe once at the beginning. On the I phone love, though, That's that he calls it. him and he says, somebody just tried to kill me. You got to be on your, you know, you got to be on point with uh, protecting her. And I'm like, you didn't mention a man died. <laughs> yeah. Like Lopez gets just, like decimated yeah, in his car. Like less than 30 seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like, somebody tried to kill me. No one got hurt. Don't worry. So, okay. <laughs> then, it's like, yeah. then the girls get in the plane and then there's a cutaway. And I think, is that when our protagonist goes to meet, is her, her name's Pantera? Oh, the God. other spy. Yeah. Yes. Her name so is this whole scene is amazing because he shows up and she is dressed in like the sexiest half Wonder Woman. Yeah. Like, like get with up a, with a, a, a diaphanous robe. gown. Like she is GTF. Yeah. I mean, you would assume any human that was she lo- acting yeah. and dressed the way she was. 
And then we they start they start talking, and you learn that the two of them went to college together and dated before, and S- fucked a lot, and fucked a lot. And but you're so then we're all like, wait, so the guy that just sent this dude to protect her sent a person that she used to date. Yeah, <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> and then so she's like all sexy. And she's like, okay, they ki- they like sort of kiss, and then she's like, all right, let me go get, I'll be right back, let me go get comfortable. And she comes back, and she's fully dressed, yes. ready to go out. And she's like, like, all right, let's go. Why are you? Well, what's happening right now? Yeah. So they go out to a cowboy bar. Mm. It's called Cowboys. Yeah. yeah. It's a we bar. Watch them dance and, for too long. And they dance in public. He's protecting her from this, like, ass- like assassination spy ring. They're just out there. And they're literally at lives. a bar. <laughs> Having a few drinks, talking about the past. This, uh, this whole scene did angry me because come then we see the two like the gross looking chud people, <laughs> but that. they don't see them. Yeah. This Dude. scene serves no purpose other than to, to them to talk about fucking in the past. Yep. And, and then it cuts to them at home. And then they, then they start fucking. Then they start fucking. Fuck. But like, why did we even need the cowboys yeah. dancing scene? It was you could have just she Dude, done the fucking. They never, before. yeah, this. they did not need to leave that apartment. No, it, like your all. lives are in danger. Why are you going out to dance? Oh, God in heaven! Why are their lives in danger, Mike? <laughs> like seriously? Because people are trying to kill the fat farmer guy. Because it's he a, did it's what? A, I can't explain the because rest he of the did plot. What? what did he do? That guy was no. no, no. <laughs> I know the plot. I don't, I don't think you do. I think you just made it up. No. I think you've just been making stuff up. Every time I ask you a question, you're just lying to me. I swear to God. That's what I think. I believe you, Mike. I don't believe you're a liar. I can explain the entire goddamn plot right now if you'll let me, Matt. I was paying attention. This movie is a masterpiece of storytelling. Uh, See? It's like the born identity, and I just don't get it. Yeah. It's that good. All right, fine. Go ahead. It's the born ultimatum, actually. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, right, they fuck. Yeah, <laughs> I just it's just they like fuck the experience a lot. of watching this and not understanding and anything <laughs> up to this point, and you're just oh. like, now I'm just watching them fuck, and I don't, I don't I know am, who anybody is. Matt, why there's I am crawling right now, <laughs> trying to even remotely say anything. I'm, right. I forget everything that happened. It's like images and Fion's clothing, and that's it. <laughs> That's like all I remember. I think they, they fuck and then we cut. Is that when we cut to the aquarium? I think that's when we cut to the aquarium. Uh-huh. <laughs> Which is like another location. Just random we're like, dolphins. Okay, we're at an aquarium. I love it. It's completely <laughs> useless that it's an aquarium. <laughs> and the fuck, this dude walks out. Uh, and it was Christ uh, in he's heaven. Like, he's like in a romper that's like, you know. <laughs> this guy. It's, it's unzipped down he's to a, his He's navel. the greatest human that's ever lived. <laughs> he, I, he, like, he and looks, he has the most amazing <laughs> rat tail. And it goes around his neck and hangs in front of his chest. Yeah, it's not even like, it didn't even look at, like it was hanging at first. It looked like it was like molded yes, and yeah. like hard like a spike. Yeah. The first time we saw it, I was like, what in the fuck is that guy? He looks crazy. <laughs> he looks like a character you would have in a comedy sketch. Like he's that. He looks like a pixelated yeah. sprite of like a yes, like that's final what I said. fight. It's a yeah, yeah, like his game. hair's like that this. That guy's in like wears Streets of Rage. Suit. I punched that dude as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I was Sega Genesis. He looks <laughs> nuts. Yes. Like in the video, he takes his hair and like tries to stab you with it. That's yeah. like that's what it looks like. Yeah, he's like a background crazy, extra in Zoolander. He's like, he, you know what I mean? He just <laughs> looks fucking crazy. He is. He gets and my vote for the craziest looking like person. When he in the walked movie. out, Mike, you were like, please tell me he's a marine biologist. <laughs> <laughs> That fucking guy. Good lord. He's a scientist. <laughs> yep. He was getting samples. He has an office with. Apparently a drawer that you hang your phone up in as opposed to on the phone. He also has enormous pectoral muscles and a perfect tan. It's so good. It's just everything about him is perfect. Mm. It's everywhere. That guy's so wide. I love him. Just looking at him, he looks like like a 2D flattened person (laughs) when you look at him straight forward. Like like, like hits him wrong and he seems flat. Yeah, it's so cool. Fucking awesome looking. I don't know. (laughs) Well, okay, in this scene, he gets a call from the girls, right? The girls whose boat was blown up. Right. Because 
They're like, hey, we were collecting your samples. Your samples are fine, but our boat was blown up, so we're going to rendezvous with peoples. Can I ask a question? Am yes. I allowed to? Why did they need to hitchhike, <laughs> take a train, <laughs> to fuck call two him. surfers, and then call him? Like, it, it just, <laughs> where was the, there was no phone? <laughs> why not call him right away? <laughs> right away life, yeah. life is a journey, Matt. Uh, also, right. they had these samples on them through all that? Yeah. They're yeah. carrying marine biology Where samples. was the scene of like, the rando guys like just banging them out, like Eiffel Tower, and be like, what are these? And like, they're samples for the sky. And, yeah. Uh, Gosh! Every th- well, right. so they say. What do the guys do? Mike, help me. What do they say there? They, I don't remember. Uh, I don't, all right, I, then I, what happened? They they I, listen, I, I they... don't remember all the setup. I just remember the big plot points. <laughs> right. They get. They're probably what asking is, for help. I don't. Yeah, know. they they ask for help. They're like, oh, we're gonna go check out some guys, and they they're probably uh, what's her face makes a. A well, reference. okay, I think next is then we go to another location, which is the country <laughs> restaurant. Shreveport, Louisiana. Right, but it's like this country restaurant. Yeah. Right, and and the main character and Pantera yeah. meet up with Fathead Farmer. Oh, that's right, and he's dressed like a fucking <laughs> fisherman. He's dressed like, like a fisherman. Like a cartoon fisherman. Yeah. He says, wait, it's a and sterile. they... They exchange information. Yeah. They like, say what's happening. People are being killed, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And Three then those... spies. <laughs> Three the spies. Spies yes. are meeting at a <laughs> restaurant in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. Where do you want them to meet, man? No. <laughs> One is a seven foot tall, gorgeous woman in absolute skin tight, striped <laughs> latex. She With does look kind of nuts hair. here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Enormous hair and like a neon pink leather jacket. The guy it looks like a co- complete asshole with like high ass <laughs> He's pants. like his shirt is He looks like in super 80s pants. hot dad. It's yes, like really it weird. Sucks. Yeah. They, yeah. And then that guy looks like he is dre- like a cost like a Halloween costume of a fisherman. <laughs> right. Everyone else in the room looks like a human being. <laughs> they look absolutely crazy. It's just like your spies blend in, wear a hat. Don't question Fion at this table. Fion! <laughs> I don't know, man. She I, is an artist. Like, or he, we don't know, Mike. Don't, don't gender Fion, okay? Thank you. Know you. It's I'm just like if you put, <laughs> if you move that camera like 10 feet back, they, they look, look nuts. Like, yeah, they, they look, look like they don't. They're crazy like people. You walk in and go, I think they're spies. <laughs> like, they're either <laughs> uh, spies or like from the circus <laughs> or something. Oh, See, here's the thing. They yeah. they look crazy, and then the chud goons walk right. in. Right, and, and then you're like, like <laughs> oh my god. Is anyone seeing what's happening in this place? <laughs> I like yeah. that those guys wore the same clothes in every scene they were in. Yes, yeah, so they didn't change. It was like two days later, and they, they were like wearing the same, same clothes. clothes. Everybody else, they kept right. changing their into these like fashion model outfits while they right. stand next to cars looking super sexy. <laughs> what? Beyond is the costume designer on, uh, on Weekend at Bernie's 2 as well. Yes. Wow. <laughs> yes, Fion. <laughs> I love Ugh. it. Thank God for Fion. Um, what yeah. happened? The, so the so, Chud people, cha- they, they go outside. Yeah, the, the spies realize they're being pursued. The um, Oh, yeah. And he has a plan. He's like, he sees the Chud guys and he just goes, all right. You guys go outside. Uh, I'll I'll deal with them. He's like, he's like looks at the at Pantera. He's like, you stay here. Me and Cowboy are okay. We'll, de- that's we'll deal with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they go steal a boat. Then the Chuds go push a family off a boat and steal that. And there's an extended chase. <laughs> they push sequence. like an old man. On them. Yeah, and she and, well, Pantera, and Pantera gets Pantera in a pontoon boat. Pontoon. Yeah, the party that. barge. So once again, we're in transportation vehicles. Yeah. There's an extended uh, shooting sequence. You find out our protagonist is the worst shot. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> like, Ever. He, he, he literally can't. It takes him like almost a whole clip of bullets to shoot one of no, the two he men. Doesn't, no, he doesn't shoot any of them. I thought he shot one. No, and she Pantera gets the other comes one. up behind. And she blows up the boat. She, no, she. Right? Pantera, no, I thought no, she no, only no. shot one. And Pantera shot has one. a fucking rifle like stashed away in her purse that mm-hmm. she puts together and shoots one. And then the yeah. cowboy guy's like, move out of the way. I'll show you how it's done. And he shoots the other guy. Oh. Right, right. And then they, yeah, they go to a shore. Yeah. They and they just, don't even, they just leave that boat floating <laughs> with dead people in it. 
Yeah. Uh, what's your face does take the the party barge back. Yeah, and she there's does. just like an old lady there's like, You took my boat. You, st- like, you know, you stole my boat. You're supposed to rent it. And she's like, Have well, a good I mean, day. I did. Here's yeah. your money. Bye. Well, that's a good day. That's a good day. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, <laughs> I think at this point they all resolve to meet up. This is, yeah, they're Isn't like, this all right, we gotta do well, something about this. I thought this was also when he, when the <laughs> when main character goes, gets on a plane when he, like, where his Q meets him at the airport, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, he gets on a plane. Because it, it, like, cut, the Pantera stuff, like, cuts off hard, and he yeah. ends up Getting on a plane at an airport. God, it's, there's like six airports in this movie. Yeah, yeah. He gets on a plane at the airport, and we see two weird looking hot old there's, people. Yeah. Okay. Are like, All right, put, hold on. Older guy and like, you know, a they're milk. like hot for this movie, weird looking. <laughs> yeah. It's not. Matt, it was nuts. <laughs> I'm not fucking the professor ever. No. I, okay. Because <laughs> he gets on that plane, <laughs> yeah. there's a close-up shot of the two of them. I didn't think he was hot at all. No, he's not. It just was his like, I chest thought it was is his hot. Dad. Listen, yeah. listen, listen, if I look that good when I'm 60, I'm gonna be pretty happy. For myself. his age, he's fine. Okay, I just right. just give in, Matt. Don't, don't be. Ageist. I'm gonna start ripping. Yeah, don't be aging off. I'm not ageist. They had this weird close-up shot of the two characters we've never seen before yeah. talking. I I thought they were his parents at first. I like, thought, yeah, same. Good, have a good trip, son. So, <laughs> love you, Dan. We're right, in like I'm a, a G four airplane, yeah. Right, and like it's now it's the main character and another spy woman. Bl- yeah, blonde haired spy lady. The blonde haired spy lady, At, who is of the group of blonde spy ladies. And he's like, "Do you that's, want?" That's Donna. That right. I remember. Okay. Mm. And then he he's like, "Before we do anything, you want to join the Mile High Club." <laughs> Yeah, no, you want to become an honorary member, member of the, the Mile High Club. Club. It's like if you if you fuck in the air, you're you an official. are a member. Yeah, yeah. And maybe so he, she, maybe he wasn't know. gonna like. He knew he wasn't gonna come. It, he was just like, I can't come, so it's honorary. We can just like. It's an honorary <laughs> thing with me. Actually, <laughs> we're, we're just gonna do finger stuff. Here <laughs> yeah, on, yeah. On yeah. I like that that she like takes her clothes off. Remember, and he goes, uh, he like says like, I'll have some or whatever. Remember, he says some weird lines. Yes. I think I will. I think I will. And he like grabs her boob. It was some really odd moment. Are you sure that happened yet? That's I, later. Yeah, this is oh, like... I just, can't... Oh, this is where they just... They, he asked her that, and she goes, hmm, and then it cuts to something else. But because yeah. when it cuts back, they're like they're, putting their clothes Yeah, they back just on. had sex. Yeah. yeah. What was the something else they cut it to cuts then? Away to... Well, I thought the... the uh, all right, we'll get to it, because it's after the Hot Spy Fuck Club meeting. Yeah. We're not there we're just, yet. We're not at the flying hot spy to fuck the hot spy fuck club meeting. We aren't. Well, they're in the plane. They're to old. The hot, yeah, they're going yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something happens before what that. Is it cut to? Is it the bad guys? Is it? Oh my god. Well, we don't really ever see the bad guys doing anything. Like, there's no, no like meeting of the bad dudes. You know? Not really. No. Uh it's probably something with, with the two some... girls. What was happening? This is where everyone fucks in a row. This is where I was yes. like, "Are you kidding me?" More yes. was it sex? was it the uh, the golf course with the woman uh, who was yeah. getting sex with, with no, the that's guy after who was the fuck club going... meeting. That's after the fuck club. <laughs> God damn it! The fuck club was like the oasis in the desert of confusion that is this movie. Or maybe it was that. I feel like the fuck. Or club she's meeting. going to get him. I mean, look, we're just, I'm going to make an executive Man, I have decision, no idea. and okay. we're just going to the Hot Spy Flood Club. Yeah, it's, because, th- it's Thursday. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. it says, so out of nowhere. The movie is so disorienting, <laughs> yeah. and you're like, what is any of this? Where is when any is of this? When is it happening? Well, the movie is like. I never once asked when. I was like, where no. are we? Who is this? And if you What's didn't happening? ask when. I never asked when. You want to know, goes, like, in juxtaposition to, to other, other events. When. Yeah. You wouldn't be like, give me a generalized <laughs> when, like. Thursday, Thursday and really literally a title fun. card comes up that Thursday. says Thursday, Thursday. and we, uh, we were like it, was it <laughs> Wednesday this whole time was that all one, one day? day yeah I don't know that was 10 years ago so Who now it's knows? Thursday Thursday we're at the hot spy fuck club meeting which is in in the terms of the movie it's where all the spy the hot spies yes. so we have the cowboy girls their, I guess, handler that was at the club, the guy who was watching the, out. Yeah, the black watching, guy. Uh, the with black the guy really wearing the sparkle head. tuxedo. Yep. Yeah. Sparkle tuxedo um, and a helmet. There's hair. the protagonist and Donna and Pantera. And then there's the two scuba girls. And then there's cowboy guy. And it's revealed that 
The so Picasso Trigger was killed by his lieutenant Ortiz uh, because Ortiz is mad that the Hot Spy Fuck Club and their associated friends killed his brother and are trying to put him into jail. So he's trying to kill. They trying to put a the... corpse in jail or him as in Ortiz. Ortiz. They're trying to put Ortiz in jail. Ortiz is Don't also... interrupt him. I know. I, I wanted him to scream at me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that would get him. We'll get to it. <laughs> uh, so Ortiz wanted to kill everybody who killed his brother. He's trying to put him in jail. So he killed all the agents. And next they're going to try and kill all the witnesses. And that happens on Monday, which is why it's important that it's, Question. it's Thursday. It's coming on Monday. Right. Yeah. Yes. Question. Why do you not just blow up these... They literally blew up all these like spies yeah. that they had to find out who they are, where they are, and what they're doing. When you can just kill the it's the fuck like, club. The man has they're a plan. Just people, they're just people. You can't Matt. You can't blow up a fuck club without seeing them have sex every now and then. Uh, you have to. But there's no movie if they don't have sex. I hate and Ortiz <laughs> specifically. Yeah, can't. Ortiz Fine. specifically hates the cowboy because the cowboy is the only one who like ever managed to catch Ortiz. Right. Uh, and so Hot Spy Fuck Club comes up with a plan to, a, quote unquote, arrest yeah, all right. of these guys together before they can execute their assassination assassination plan. Oh, yeah. He says that in that speech. He goes, we have to arrest them all at the same time. Yeah. Because we can't break them if they're separate. Spoiler we gotta, alert, They don't arrest many of them. They don't arrest <laughs> they them. Yeah, they blow them up just like they got blown up at the yeah, beginning. Yeah. <laughs> Retaliate. It's like Zach. Eye for an eye, an explosion it's like Zach for an Snyder's explosion. Hot spy fuck club. <laughs> everyone dies. Yeah, uh, and then just everyone disperses you know, and fucks and fucks. There's they do. Like there's a lot. There's a couple fucks. sex a scenes. There's the golf scene. The girl goes, "I'm gonna go with Andy with... Sedaris." Is in the golf scene. Yeah, yeah. he's the, he's the he's blonde who fucked. isn't Donna. Is like, I'm gonna go find this guy. <laughs> uh, does is he integral to the plot or like the? No, no, no. she just she's, she's like. He fucks good. I'm going to go yeah. find him. Okay. She's <laughs> I'm like, find him, fuck him, sure. kill him. Yeah. She's like, he's bad. He's he's uh, he's bad at golf, but he's got a good driver. But um, Yeah. Oh, fuck. We forgot about the Easter egg. Easter what, egg? What? At the beginning with Tom Kenny. Well, we can get to oh, that when the movie's over, man. We'll right. get, yeah, let's get fine. this movie. God, please. Come on, please. Uh, Mike, yeah. we're barely hanging on here, man. I got nothing for this chunk of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> this is when I was truly we'll get to Tom Kenny later. Out of existence. Fine, fine. Yeah, you're right. Well, we'll talk about it. All right. Just... All right. Uh, uh, I was like, they, they celebrate Easter? <laughs> oh, my God. Evan. <laughs> just like please, sometimes no. when we watch movies like this, it'll just be like, why did there's Christmas it's happen? It's a Christmas movie. <laughs> um. <laughs> So they're they're doing re- they're fucking and they're doing reconnaissance on the various um, goons that they're going to try to take out. So in part of this, one of the 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 brunette cowboy dancer girl and the the spike haired uh, marine biologist muscle man. Oh my god! Are, are gonna go to like Ortiz's <laughs> like one of his people's it's offices to try to yeah. bug his phone or something, and they're. Dressed as the, phone company workers, and they on look, a pornography set. They do not <laughs> look like f- they no. work anywhere except for a porno <laughs> company uh, by contract. The marine like, biologist, his shirt is unbuttoned to the belt. Yeah, of it. like it's his. It's shirt, a romper. His it's a beige are romper. Rolled up, and he it has is, his head, which is a mess. It's one it's of my, like it's nuts looking. It's one of my favorite looks from the eighties. It's a it's like a it's like a shirt tucked into pants. Yeah, but it's not open. buttoned. But it's, it's open. open all the way into because it says out. Matt. It's a it's an arrow it's down to your dick. Sick, you it's, it's so gross. He looks like he is so fake. It's absurd. I mean, she looks she has a helmet on and stuff, but to yeah. even still, they both I mean, look like they got a costume shop. Her, to put her shirt yeah. is like yeah. still open, like down yeah. to her chest. Yes. And they go in, they, they just walk into this fucking room. It's a tiny office. Yeah. And they with a bad guy and two henchmen thugs. who are gigantic <laughs> white so guys big. in karate geese, which I thought was awesome. I Those, love it. She's like, there's something wrong with your lines. We were told there's something wrong with your chip. Oh, no. Before that, they just stick an Uzi in a potted plant right, right outside the oh, door. Yeah. Right. yeah. Just, and, but she, yeah, they barge in the room. And he's like, "Who are you? We're from the phone company." I mean, it, the second it's like, you "Don't saw you hear people, the static?" He's like, "The phone's fine. Hangs right. it up. Get out of here before oh, I, I kill There's you." There's something guys. wrong with your chip. 
And he goes, there's nothing wrong with any chip or any phone. Get out of here. Well, I guess we can repair it tomorrow. <laughs> Will you'll, you be here tomorrow? Yeah, and he's I'll like, be here. yes, we live, live here. here. So <laughs> Dude, that room is small. It looks so small. Look, it's just, weird it little smells like, I love that line. Like we live here. All the time. Okay. Okay. And then, 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 then they go meet Q. Hot Spy Fuck Club's Q. Well, the main character and Donna. Donna. Yeah. So they come right back and they're like, what are you doing back here? And no, not like, yet. We go okay. to meet the Q at the pool side. And, and Q uh, gives the main character. This is after he motorboats his hot milf wife. Yes. he mo- he's- She's like, do you want Danish? He's like, I want your oh, yeah. I want, I want your titties. And he just like undoes her bikini. <laughs> this She's like. Him. Like I, you, I asked if you went Danish. He's like Danishes, Swedes, and he like he points at her. So I guess she's Swedish. I, honestly, watching these movies, I want to see Andy Sedaris have sex. I just want to see it. I want to know what he does. <laughs> sex. Oh, man. He's either the worst or like he's got some weird. Ass, he's crazy. You know what I mean? Or he just looks at he just stares at tits until he comes. I don't know. Yeah, he might not even <laughs> penetrate. It's There's not, no touching. It's yeah. just staring. Yeah, it's just voyeurism. Then, uh, uh, so. Q and his Q and his uh his wife fuck and then Donna and the protagonist. They don't. Come they in. fuck. I'm sure they fucked. No, they just they just like fondle each other. <laughs> there was a there was a cut. There was a cut. They did something. Whatever. It, they're so always this, they're Q, constantly in a state of. His fucking. name isn't Q either. We <laughs> no, gave him that name because yeah. he gives them. I no, love he's this. Just he a says professor. He, he's got like a remote control car. He says, "I made this for you." And it's obviously like a purchase. A store bought. Store bought. He's like, you see, the bomb just goes in the undercarriage. He's... And it's just a space that he had taped in a bomb. Yep. <laughs> and then he's like, then. Dude, he all this guy does boomerang. is tape bo- Velcro <laughs> bombs, bombs to things. To Not things. even tape, Velcro. He gives them a boomerang, and it's just got a little, he just sticks a bomb on it. Yeah, it just tapes a bomb to the underneath. Sure. Of a boomerang. A boomerang. A thing that comes back to the person who threw it. Typically. More like a kaboomerang. Ka- oh. Oh, boy. Yeah. God. <laughs> Damn it, kill me. <laughs> uh, is there anything else? the crutch. Oh. No. <laughs> I, I, w- I wish I forgot about the crutch. Because it makes no sense what the hell that thing was. I Like, what, what exactly was that crutch's function? Like, it's about 10 things. Until he gave I him- thought it was a gun. I thought it was a machine gun and a crutch. But it's Cause so he, cause much more. Q comes walking out, and he's got a, the worst cast you've ever seen. Oh. He is not a cast. Oh, before he... that, Donna is, uh, she go, her and uh, Protag fuck again. And she's like, I can't believe you fucked Pantera. Don't you know she's like, fuck the bad guys. And he's like, well, you know, I know her. I trust her. He's like, don't trust her. She fucks bad guys. And that's how we get our first taste that she might be a double agent. Yeah. Right. And then he comes out. With the bad cast on, and he and they're like, "What's that?" That that comes way later. Oh, now the professor just comes out with the crutch, and he goes, "What's that?" And he's like, "This is what you need." And he hands it to him, and they <laughs> yeah. smile, and you're just like, "What?" Yeah, well, because I like, he doesn't it was a gun. use it right there. He just goes, "He doesn't even cool. explain it." Yeah, like he doesn't um, explain it. He just like smiles. I hate this movie so much. Yes, I, <laughs> I, I'm not, at this point, we're rewriting. It. I don't care. These are the worst spies. In the world, they're their weapons even... are joke. It's not. They're not <laughs> spies, man. It's like it's like a bunch of like people with like real club. who had like really bad head trauma. <laughs> I, are they're like, not we're, even we're really spies. committed to whatever the hell it is they're doing. No. It's great. It's really funny. It, it kind of reminds me of the Glamorama book by Brady Ellis where it's about like supermodels being tricked into being spies because they're so dumb they don't even realize what they're being asked to do right yeah it's like that's the premise of that book it reminds me of that where they're like we're spies i'm just gonna sneak in the thing this this is it's a like, world oh, like someone where... told them they were spies yeah. Yeah, they're spies. <laughs> they don't hey, have yeah. any training or here's anything a, here's a remote here's a bomb velcro to a th- you know it's all just like here you go and it, and it looks like a joke, but the movie's like, no, this is serious spy shit. Right. This is this is what would right. happen like, if you let people who are like really into James Bond actually become spies. Right. Mm. Yes. Without any training. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, when I'm did she light? When to... did she lit? Uh, some Donna lit a cigarette with a with a watch lighter, and I was like, that's, "Oh yeah, yeah, that's cooler than anything, anything the else professor has made." made right. But then, there, then like the guy, the protag sees it and he's like, "Wait a minute!" minute. 
And he looks at like the pictures from when what did he Picasso re- oh. Trigger was killed. And, he's and he like, realizes he's like, that his it's not- watch is on a different hand in this shot. <laughs> and he's like, it's not him. It's a double. Yeah. But I was so, going to say, we go back to the phone he company. He doesn't say that there. No. So now, okay. So it's Sunday. He, uh, it's sun- all, the st- all the shit is going down <laughs> on Sunday. They, they fucked. They spent the last few days Friday fucking, was fucking and doing a little bit of reconnaissance. <clears throat> and now it's Sunday and the plot happens on Monday. So they have to act now. So, so the phone company. God, this is such a great scene. The phone company. Oh, the phone company thing is come. They come back. Remember? They, yeah. just, they, no, they don't do all this on the same day. That has to be on like Saturday or something. No, it's all on God Sunday. Damn, oh, it's son of a bitch. I am. Oh, you're right. All right, fine. It doesn't matter. Fine. It's, no, I, yeah. I, I, it's a shame all your silverware is dirty. There's nothing for me to just start cutting my wrist <laughs> open with. <laughs> God so, damn it. They, they show up again and they're like going to do, they're going to go through the whole ruse. Yeah. But the guy, the big, Burly they get, they guy. get off the two elevators and the bodyguards are standing they're right, right, there, right there. Like, yeah, yeah. Giant machine guns. Back. And they're right. like, we're here to fix the phones, like we said. And he's like, nah, I don't think so. And starts like, <laughs> right. they immediately get into a fight. Does he slam the woman down first? Yes. Yeah. He slams the woman down. He like hits her in the head or something. She falls <laughs> over. She smashes And then the marine wall. biologist has the most amazing fight well, he scene. He takes his shirt off and just starts kicking <sighs> Oh, well, yeah. You can't leave your shirt out. on. I mean, no, it's not well, happening. He rips out the blonde guy's eyes. eyes. Yeah. Or just that, stabs both of them out. After like, before the uh, he gets put into a Boston crab. That was uh, that's after he it, uh, it was after he gets put into the Boston, Boston crab. crab. The blonde guy puts him in a Boston crab and then he like unfurls himself to the point that he curls back like, up yeah. into that guy's face. face and then just pokes him in the eye. He like yeah. totally kill bills his eyes right out. It's yeah, like, in like half a second, he's like, boom, no, and just the guy's blood everywhere. Ah. Right, and then and then he just punches the other guy in the face. He, well, no, he, he like punches broke that the guy's one, he, neck. I thought he punches the Did other he? guy through the window, right? No, 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 no. no, no, no. That's, no. that's before he goes. In, this is okay. still in the hallway. Of it's the, the hallway. Okay. So yeah, he he punches the other guy so hard. It sounds like there's a crack. So it's like I think he's like that guy's dead. Uh, and then he goes into the the uh, other room, and then there's the lieutenant there, and they have this huge, big, extended fight sequence, and then finally. Um, uh, ponytail guy throws him out the window yeah. and which we don't realize what floor and it's done of through the building. a series of cuts yeah, yeah we're not yeah. sure what we didn't know what floor this building this office no we've was never on. seen exterior there's shot. no exterior all of a sudden it's like a 20-story building with and a, this with dummy, dummy just like yep. very floating through the wind kind of slamming down <laughs> and then the, the best part the the guy who got his eyes poked out oh my shoots God. through the the wall. wall and like cuts a hole in it and like fucking Kool Aid man's through <laughs> and then tries to shoot he tries to kill them yeah, even though he's, he's blind. like no eyes like, like, machine gun just shooting blindly yeah. and, and then, then uh, the yeah, other bl- woman yeah, brunette lady shoots gets him up from and, behind right and it's like that was close or something and or... then they make out they kiss. Yeah. Of course, you can't not. Mm, I just fuck realized time. why I know what it cut to when they were like fucking on the plane. What? It cut to the blondes, the 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 cowboy girls getting propositioned by the two the old man and the V neck sweater guy oh, yeah. to work for them. And they're like, We're gonna work on a new routine. Can we show it oh, to you yeah, tomorrow can, afternoon? It sets up what's gonna happen next. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That's what we forgot. That's fine though. Yeah, no, 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 we got it. it. I just it, it all popped it up. In. I was like, oh, that's about Because we cut we to that. Oh, They're oh, giving oh. their special routine performance to the the, the snuff man. film guy, yeah, the snuff his film lackey, guy. and some other dude that's like uh, the I, snuff film director. Patterson. I think he was the maybe, director yeah. of the stuff. He's the guy who makes the snuff films, like the director. Because he, because remember they're like they're up there dancing, and he looks at the guy, and he's like, "How? What do you think?" He's like, "They'll do." He's like, "Decent, decent, yeah, decent, whatever." Not bad, not bad. And so then she's like, <laughs> "They stop dancing." She was, and the girls time. go, "Then now it's time for some banjo." I, I audibly what? went, "Wait a minute, wait, what? they're gonna play banjo." She opens up this banjo thing and pulls out a, I don't, I don't understand. It's an it's ivory like, rifle. Yeah, it's like a <laughs> pa- white painted like blunder bus. It didn't even yeah. like, you know what I mean? Like the the, the barrel yeah, looked way big. It, it, it wasn't it was like why that now? Like why would you use this for this? <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Yeah. This was the personal blunder bus of King Louis the <laughs> Seventh. Yes. <laughs> right. So she pulls that. She shoots the the director guy. Yeah. 
and then uh, they, they get a shot off. Uh, they well, no, they grade shoots, the other girl's she, head. Yeah. yeah, she shoots the gray hair guy. The other girl shoots the sweater vest dude. Right. Or, no, no, the 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 guy we never saw before. Yeah. Yep. But the gray haired guy like shoots the brown haired lady like in the head, and she mm-hmm. goes down. And then that's when Mike was like, "Where's the guy who's supposed to be protecting the, the black guy?" And then yeah, Sparkle yeah. Black Man comes out from the back. He and he is fucking more ripped than Terry Crews. Oh, it's been an hour. <laughs> oh that guy, boy, that guy is seriously ripped. Good lord, huge. Man. Yeah, and he's like oh. flexing super hard, like strangling that guy. He's American Gladiators at this point. Yes, well, that's what he looked like. He was wearing like a unitard, and I was like, "What is he late coming from the set of American <laughs> yeah, Gladiators?" Right. This is crazy. Just climb the aggro crag. I gotta get over here. <laughs> Yeah. Um, Wait, was so the then Craig, that was guts. That was okay. Guts. That was okay. guts. That was, okay. guts. That was but, it's the kids American Gladiators. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what's it? They we awkwardly watch them like walk through the room of dead people, and then he goes, "You girls really made a mess. I'll have to call house cleaning." All I the loved like, it. I love that. Like, this is a casino. A fucking joke. This is in like a major casino yes. on the Vegas Strip. And there's been that's, like several in, in guns a room fired. that's been full yeah. every time. Every time. Any oh, oh, let's talk about there. the Greenhorn Lounge real quick, Lori. It's just like it's a couple of women like <laughs> dancing, but like it's like all ages in there watching. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah it's, it's like recently. octogenarians like <laughs> clapping at the yeah, end of like, this. Oh, week. But it's not like a good you show. Could, you know no. how to shake it. And it's also like. It's also not stripping or burlesque. It's just like no, it's just cowboy women just moving. bouncing. Yeah. It's uh, it's like it's women in bikinis just kind of like, doing like there's shitty probably places in Vegas where you could just see naked women stripping. Yeah. Like you don't need to be here watching this. Like either go one way or the other. Mm-hmm. Actual talent or stripping. This, stripping is a real talent. I don't want to disparage listen, if, any if strippers if you're, out if there. You're <laughs> That is, it's, just, it's an actual talent. Yeah, Apparently, yeah, yeah. if if you want to take your grandma to a to a skimpy review on the strip, this is the place this to go place to. to maybe maybe, it, maybe yeah. it just hits that sweet. They spot did for say, grandma. however, it was an after hours like sneak peek, so that's the only way they can explain why no one else was there. Yeah, well, that's yeah, that part's fine. Just the other part, other times they're in that club. Yes, it's like like people's grandma. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're like, oh, look at those titties fly. Right, right. Grandma's, okay, well, grandmas yeah, need titties dead. too, yeah. Mike. Grandmas need titties. No, I'm fine. trying to think what happens. I they're dead. Uh, then we go to the um, the two blonde women hunting down the guys um, on the beach. On the beach, and so there's the extended dirt bike oh, uh, chase. Oh God, kill me! And then they. It's like Andy Sedaris loves like Jeez. vehicles, vehicles and tits miss? and explosions. That's it. Didn't someone fuck on a boat or something? And we were like, why are they now just having sex while traveling? Or that was in the plane, I guess. I don't know. Never mind. There was a shower scene that, that popped up there. Yes. There's, yeah, right. yeah. Oh, the, the cowboy women, uh, one of them got into the shower. The other got into the hot tub after they're like murder uh, bring it, spree yeah no, no it wasn't it was af- it was before the murder spree but after they're like hey come back here come back tomorrow <laughs> they were like getting okay, they were getting right. sexed up all for right, that well, sorry the ki- they were getting all horned up for the kill yeah yeah <laughs> uh so then we cut we to, need to keep move we need to keep going we, we cut to the two scuba girls <laughs> and they're hunting down ortiz's God. bodyguards who or guards who or who are on the beach and there's an extended dirt bike chase sequence. And then one dies, and then the other like ducks behind a hill. And the girl, the one girl's like, "I know what to do." And she gets out the kaboomerang and right. throws it at his side. And the guy's like, "What's that coming at me?" And then Bonk. he blows up. And then isn't that when they chase the? Uh, well, they go to that house, right? Yeah, they go to Ortiz's house, right? Uh, and at this point, the bad guys know something. He's going gotten down. a call. He was like walking on the beach, and he got a call that those other guys had gotten killed in right. Las Vegas. Yes. And he's like, "Shit's fucked." Right. We got to abort the mission. He's like, "No, we will not abort the mission." And he tells his the lackey to go outside everything. and like, like yeah. patrol the perimeter. At yeah. this point, he the other blonde woman, <laughs> the, like, gets spotted and gets shot at. She's by just a like shotgun th- dude like faintly ducking behind a tree and he's like oh my god and so she boom, he, boom, he boom. starts shooting so she gets out the rc car the rc mm. car man and drives it around and g- goes ramps, off a, sor- a surfboard ramp ramps into like the the paper it's like a, a, a vestibule like paper because he ran um, out of it's like a wall. vestibule yeah he, like emptied his shotgun and he went he like ducked around the wall to like reload it yeah and then she fires she blew an up RC the entire like back back porch basically yes yeah. and then she zips up her jacket 
Just mm-hmm. relevant. Very I important. can't believe that that was relevant. Because you know why it's you know why it actually made sense? It's because you're like, why is she covering up her breasts? Yeah. In a movie like this, you, like the one it time you're like, oh my yeah. god, it's actually plot. You know, say what you will about Andrew Sedaris. He is a stickler for details. He's he is yes. So she yeah she zips up her vest, yep. which is a fishing vest. It's like it's just totally a mm-hmm. thin layer of just canvas just, or whatever yeah. that's made out of. It's very thin. And, and she goes up with a gun, and then she gets shot at some. She gets, she shot, gets shot in shot the in side. S- yeah, yeah, in the guts. Yeah, yeah. And then the guy like goes to investigate, and she just like rears up, and you know, pop pop, takes kills him. Out. him. Oh, oh, she shoots that one guy through the wall, and he like and he dies. Oh, that oh, weird that's, that's double it's cut. edited so, so badly; yeah, it's cut. great. It's yeah. like you don't see him burst through the wall, but the you Tommy start Bahama him fall, guy. and then you see him right. already hit the ground. It's weird. She kills two men here. Yeah, yeah. So they're <laughs> without remorse. It's so amazing no. how much. No, they're just they. They said they needed to arrest these people, and they're just like the wiping them out. Gangland. That style. that woman loves two it's things great. in life. It's like the Godfather. Yeah, that woman loves two things in life. Killing dudes and fucking dudes. Yeah, it's true. That's, that's what she is about. Yeah, and uh, she goes to meets up with the other girl, and she's like, "What's wrong?" She's like, "Don't worry, I had my vest on. I'll get checked out." Yeah, yeah. We're like, we're like, wait, that was bulletproof vest? <laughs> like, yeah. okay, all right. And Didn't I, we get? Oh, uh, we get. They assume Ortiz bursts out of the house in a dirt bike. Yo, there's blasting. another dirt bike chase. Right. Yeah, oh, gets, goes goes blasting down the beach on a dirt bike, but then. They he sees the blonde the other blonde woman's climbing out of the water with her like I think harpoon that, is that Donna? Gun. Yeah, Donna's coming out of the water. And with he kind of disappears, gun. right? When and he hides he... behind his bike and starts and pulls out his gun and starts shooting and she goes behind a rock but then shoots like the harpoon at his bike and then blows him up. Yeah, and then that's there's, it. There's a it's like explosive. super unceremonious. I thought that because but didn't of that this... happen after the hovercraft chase? No. 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 no? Okay. Because that happens next, then yes. So we find our protagonist meeting up with oh, Pantera. It wasn't Ortiz that blew up. It was the other dude, blonde-haired guy. Uh, no, Ortiz blows up because the woman on the beach shoots an explosive arrow at his um, okay at his bike. at his bike. Right. Right. And, he, like, yeah. and he looks at it. it's like in the trailer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he <laughs> yeah. So then our protagonist meets up with Pantera, and the protagonist has the crutch in a uh, a cast. Well, not, it's not a cast. It's like a weird strap thing strapped onto his leg. And she's like, oh, my God, what happened? And he's like, oh, it's nothing. I'm fine. I'm going to go kill. I, I, I need to go check out this house. And she's like, okay, it's, it's like, as long as you're fine. And he walks away, and she gives a little smile. Yeah. It's like, mm-hmm. Oh, no. Yeah. So he gets to his house, and you find out Picasso Trigger is still alive, and he pieces it all together that yeah. Picasso Trigger incited this whole thing so that uh, he could get um, uh, the Hot Spy Fuck Club to kill his various crime rivals. And uh, that's what they did. And I'll give it to Mike. He called that. Yeah. yeah. You called it. Yeah. You did. I not saying that me or Matt couldn't have called it, but I <laughs> I don't know what was happening to call anything. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was I so no lost. Andy Sedaris, master of storytelling. <laughs> yeah, that, it's all yeah. there. It's all there. The pieces. Just like the like, jigsaw like, puzzle like, like story. Charlie in front of the chalkboard. <laughs> right. You see, yarn, yarn, yarn. <laughs> um, right. So, so he's so, the so he's reveal. got the cast on that we sort of don't know what it does yet. Yeah, and for some reason. Uh, Oh God! The protagonist sits down, takes the cap off the crutch, and like aims it and at. It has a light on it. On yeah, the, and it goes near, near, near. And he's like, "There sure is a lot of radiation in this room." <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck? Somehow the crutch has a Geiger counter. And he's he's aiming it basically at his chest. Yeah, and mm. then there's like this, you know, kind of back and forth, and uh, then Protag tries to shoot. Uh. Trigger fish and, and, and a trigger with and the, the a drop down bulletproof fish. wall like yeah. glass wall yeah drops down the, and stops and a the bullet. video camera a vi- shot a missile, missile. at him yep. God damn and it. a tiny little missile I mean once they the said the radiation thing that's how I was like this left her I was like whoa I'm yep. already lost you're throwing this out there so he escapes and then Pantera comes in and she's like oh my god what happened and protects like oh cost the trigger still alive blah blah blah. And then she tries to kill him. Right. And then Donna comes up behind with her spear <laughs> Spears gun. Spears her right through the chest. Yep. 
And it's like a dramatic shot of her, the, the knife that she was going to stab the protagonist with. Yeah. She like dramatically drops it to the ground and dies. Yep. And he drops her and then Donna's like, I told you she was a fucking bitch. Now let's fuck. And he fuck. goes, I know, and starts crying. I was like, yeah. what the fuck are you doing, dude? Who don't even know your name, man? Uh, that, was, that was his college sweetheart, and she just died, man. It's so it's, sad. It's so sad, Whatever. dude. It's emotion. Mm. Human drama. Mm. Was he trying to save her? He kept going, I know. I knew she was a bad guy. I, but he never went, I was <laughs> trying to turn her heart That's around. That's why I took her to a cowboy dance club and then fucked yeah, her, man. Come I on. I knew she was bad. Come on. Andy, Andy so then, believes in the redeeming power of love, but sometimes mm-hmm. you just have to let go. Well, that then, they, they, then Picasso Trigger... They chase him yep. to the beach. Yep. And he busts out on a fucking sweet hovercraft. <laughs> I, well, I do love that mm-hmm. him and Donna, we see a shot of them that's like, uh, like you know, 90 seconds of them walking <laughs> from the house bumbling down to the, hill. <laughs> the beach. He actually does like a flip roll. Yeah, he <laughs> falls and over like, and rolls. What the fuck are we watching, they man? Did, they did 99 takes. And, that and then, the best yeah, one. and then Picasso Trigger just bolts out with his fucking mini hovercraft. But he's got a helmet on now. He does have a helmet on. So, which made us think, oh, that might not be him. He's a master of disguise and and averting, you know, so. So. And so then there's a, there's a a ski do. Yep. That the protagonist. Actually, I believe it's called a wet ski. Wet ski. Right. Jet ski, wet ski, ski do, whatever. The protagonist gets on that, and then there's a hovercraft. Jet- man, he's man. God damn it. <laughs> like he said, like the man, it must have been insane. I don't, I, Did he like, own all these things? Everything like, must be chased. Know. All vehicles <laughs> must like be all chased. <laughs> he loves vehicles. It's so good. So yeah, it's the most boring fucking hovercraft. They're just like jet ski. Fight. They're just like it's going nuts. in circles yes, in a little it's so inlet. Dumb. Uh, and then I forget how they eventually. She doesn't she have like that spear thing? She's got the spear bomb gun oh, thing. She's got like a trident with like she a... straps a trident with a. Bomb she velcros on. another bomb to another spear. She cues it up. And yeah, they, they blow up uh, because of trigger. Well, it turns out that it actually was him. No, it wasn't him. I know. I was kidding. Jokes. I see. Ah, uh, so <laughs> what happens? We're almost there. All right, We're I, almost there. All right. So <laughs> I'm like, What's, I feel like a, like a runner is going to pull a hamstring okay. right before the thing and like be crippled for the rest of his life. Like <laughs> if we don't finish this movie, I'm this is the all end right, of my so career. So protagonist realizes like, oh, that might not have been Picasso trigger. Right. Let me take out my crutch. I used oh it God. to record the frequency of Picasso Trigger's <laughs> pacemaker. So he does loads... he say all that though? I no, thought he, it was he, just he a... says it later. He says something it's a like, mo- I... "Yeah, it hasn't okay. been explained to us." He just takes okay. out the thing, sets it up, yeah, and then enters in the numbers, number. and then fires a little, a a little missile. missile. Yeah, and it hits Picasso. Yeah, oh, and Picasso, Picasso Trigger is back in his house. He sees the dead painter. He's like, "Ah, women." They're expendable. So are you. And he shoots oh, crime, crime priest. priest. Yeah, he crime priest. Crime. Yeah. He shoots crime priest. So you're expendable too, crime priest. <laughs> Why did he shoot scum? crime priest? Crime priest is the man. Why did he shoot him? I don't get that. And then it know. goes out onto his balcony, and then this little missile comes down and just blows and him blows up. it up. Yeah, yeah. The body, does, like so the body. What uh, we're seeing, what we're not told, to is that he yeah. has a radioactive heart. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, uh, yeah, and so then uh, it's the end and hot spy fuck club meets up and protagonist is like, Oh, I, I used it. I, I homed in on his pacemaker frequency and <laughs> killed him that way. Cause they're all, they're at the end. Like it's, you know, they're having their party to yeah, celebrate. The professors there. All Everyone looks really hot and there. sexed and up. And for some reason they have that ugly ass Picasso trigger fish painting. Yeah. I love the way that marine biologist looks in this scene. He looks so nuts. His oh. hair is all <laughs> out now. Yeah. yeah it's so it's so not much in hair. a spike. Yeah. And uh, yeah, then the, the one woman who's just like, I'm just going to keep this painting. It, there's the real ones in Paris, or is it? Is it? it? <laughs> <laughs> and then the fucking basic ass credits. Yeah, the, the typewriter credits look like they were on a typed out on a piece of paper, and then they just cut the scenes from the movie, and then back to the pieces of paper. Yep. During the song, I think it was the song of the movie, right? Yeah. That fucking song is. Terrible. It was the Picasso Trigger <laughs> song, it's though. It's really bad. It's super bad. <laughs> 
Oh my God, we're we done. We did it. Uh, All right. So yeah. Tom Kenny, real quick. So on these this <laughs> shitty DVD collection, apparently there's Easter eggs for every yeah. movie because on, on the disc we were watching, it was Savage Beach and Picasso Trigger, yeah. and each of them had their own that you access by clicking on the thigh of a pretty right. lady. The Picasso Ooh. Trigger one is simply Andy Sedaris talking to well-known B actress Julie Strain. But she comes out with her tits, with her tits, tits just out. out. And then he says, how come you weren't in all my movies? And she was like, well, I, was, I wasn't I was 18 yet. And so I couldn't take my tits out for you. And that's like, pretty much the like, clip. Andy, you can have a movie without well, tits. Yeah. <laughs> right. No, you can't. No, you can't. <laughs> But nope. what, we, what you want to talk about is a movie we we didn't watch, which was Savage Beach, the extra feature. God, it's so weird. It's Tom Kenny, the With voice like of a- SpongeBob SquarePants, Mr. Show Fame, Tom Kenny, holding an MTV microphone, talking to Andy Sedaris and his wife poolside. Yep. About how much he loves their car- his he career. Has a foot and a half long rat tail. Yeah. He's got one. Well, he's got. A rat tail and like a boot, a poof. Yeah, hairdo. It's, it's like it's a greaser very, hairdo and a, and a rat tail. It's like one of the just weirdest talk, things. Yeah. Just There's talking so about how tits there. and guns are the best thing ever. Tom Kenny loves Andy Sedaris, right? And Andy Sedaris to this, he says that he makes family movies. Yeah, he's so, joking. Uh, if, you, but, if, you don't, if you don't like uh, guns and girls, you're a communist, right? It's just like Tom Kenny. Yeah, I, right. I didn't even know he did that in his career. No. He wrote, I think he wrote on channel surfing for MTV or something. I might so he might have been. If I ever meet Tom like Kenny, I want him to sign that DVD. Right. <laughs> so, like you interviewed movie. Andy Sedaris thirty five years ago. <laughs> Forty five seconds. <laughs> Forty five seconds. I need you to sign this. No, I just I want to know like what he saw. Right. In that house, man. God. Because it was probably their house. Yeah. Probably. Well, this is over. <laughs> Would you recommend people watch this movie? Fuck no, man. <laughs> Good God. I don't know. I mean, I would. I'm going to disagree. I'm going to say you should watch this movie as long as you're not podcasting about it. Like, just put it on and let it happen. As long as you don't ever have to, like, recall it or uh, talk yeah. about it or think about it <laughs> ever again. <laughs> Yes, please watch it. Just fast forward to the Sunday title card because <laughs> that's where it. things get crazy. That is and where like you're get just awesome. gonna just skip all the travel and fucking horseshit. Unless you're like you know, a I don't know, a man's man that would love any Sedaris stuff. Yeah. Sincerely, you'll probably you really love the whole need movie. To jerk off and can't watch porn. <laughs> you do this. Okay, like when I was 16 and like didn't have the internet yet. Andy Sedaris was your Oh, man. Andy Sedaris would be oh, there I would I would have been fast forwarded through I would have fast forwarded through all these movies <laughs> just straight to the boob scenes and like this is the greatest movie. Right, yeah. Seen. So he was he did something there. Yeah. The way the plot is unveiled is unconscionable. It's like the worst. Oh yeah. You are just leaving your audience like in this soup of confusion <laughs> for like almost half the movie. It's crazy. It's either genius or it's completely awful. We don't know. Uh, I have proposed the latter. I hated it. <laughs> But I don't I, know. I don't, that was hard if, to watch, man. I don't know. If we weren't, I would have enjoyed it had we not been doing this podcast. If we were just watching it. If I had more than three hours of sleep, I might well, have enjoyed too. it a little bit more. That, that's good. a factor. Holy <laughs> yeah, God. Factor. We also don't normally do bonus this at night anymore. No. So, like, this is ah. a confluence of many factors. And Andy Sedaris is definitely one of them. And well, so, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, I, Mike, we'll see you when you come back and we'll watch another Andy Sedaris movie. <laughs> I look forward to it. <laughs> I'll be a blubbering mess by the end of it. Mike TV is now the Andy Sedaris guy. <laughs> You're I'm going to try to keep archivist. Matt up for like two days next time. Jesus Christ. <laughs> watch the movie. Just guns. And we're going to watch guns. It just starts ripping parts that's, of my body uh, off. That's got Eric Estrada it. in it. So Guns, yeah. Of cool cat I thought players. you were joking. <laughs> no, the movie called Name Guns. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, they, uh, <laughs> he's not trying. Yeah, no, yeah. it's called uh, guns, dude. It's great. I hope it, I hope he's just made out of guns by the end of the movie. I hope there's so many helicopters and pools and, <laughs> and, and oh. I want airports every second. I, I want like, someone to be. <laughs> 
fucking in a helicopter how, during it, a chase. How many or Air Force can one movie have? I just want to see him try and top that hoverboat sometime. Oh man, because that's damn. That was great. Why didn't the military ever get involved with Andy Sedaris movies? You know what I mean? Like he oh, he just man. needs more vehicles and like construct a tank. Yeah, you, know, you can't give that guy a tank. <laughs> <laughs> that would be tanks bad. and helicopters and harrier jets and shit like <laughs> it would be amazing dude people and all the characters they're like okay let's go talk to that guy and then you see them walk out of a building they get on a vehicle get off the vehicle get on another vehicle get, well i was gonna say what that's mean? what like i that... want to see is like just like <laughs> this the whole movie sort of a chase where they just keep getting on different <laughs> things but they're having conversations like he had a checklist man like, that's the only reason like the, ch- the, uh, <laughs> the train scene like uh, yeah, the yeah, only yeah. reason is that he just had a checklist that we gotta do a train they literally have a dialogue scene on this weird ass train yeah and it's like you could have talked about that anywhere why was it on a train <laughs> I, I, I think it's because he thought it was production value yeah, you know I what I mean? Like it seems like it's like worth something that they're talking on the a, a amusement park train I, that was standing in for a train train. Bob, next time you mm. you write a movie, just have every scene be on a different <laughs> form of transportation. Yeah, every cut is a different location and a different form of transportation. Bus, light rail, <laughs> duck boat, <laughs> <laughs> submarine. It's like. <laughs> Hot hair balloon. <laughs> was there a single exterior shot of Las Vegas, quote unquote? No. Yeah, they're just uh, in the buildings. Was, no, there think... were there were some. Were there? There, okay. were a few. there was that. There... Oh, that. Casino we. I should probably right. end this, but there was the that one. Sand there was that one whatever. great moment where it was like, "Here's the interior shot of the building," and oh then it was God. like, Here's "Then the it next cut exterior. to the <laughs> it cut to the <laughs> exterior <laughs> shot, and then back <laughs> in it was like, what?" <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh shit i forgot to show where we are oh, right, yeah. Okay. Yeah, all the right cuts in this movie are everyone's really caught bad. up <laughs> whenever like, oh wait it looks like this on the outside all yeah. right come back in <laughs> like god damn it <sighs> so Working good on. i love that because it was a guy picking up a phone and then it showed a building and you were like <laughs> is this where he's making the phone call from, from where he's <laughs> calling and then it cuts back and it is where it's coming from and you're like that's really sick stupid <laughs> that's a really stupid thing to do storytelling wise he's a genius oh, he's man. not he is he's like terrence malick all right we gotta we're done because we i got, gotta i gotta i gotta kill mike on the way home <laughs> because i'm gonna die <laughs> driving i I'm should gonna... not have let you drip right. <laughs> you offered me a ride and i was like yeah that's yeah like sure it sounds idea. like a great idea didn't yeah. know i was a maniac <laughs> didn't know i was losing you my can't... mind look you just watched basically an, a manual on how to operate a vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, you're right. I have no excuse. I have to drive my car perfectly. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> shit. Take your tits out while you do it, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way. You're right. I gotta, ensure Mike's safety, man. I got to have my tits out. Get, need... Take your shirt. Cut a V down your shirt <laughs> so, and tuck in your shirt. <laughs> if you could braid your uh, your hair into a, like a really, yes, uh, we need some hair rat spray. Tail. <laughs> yes, some like, hair oh, spray. I need a, a a spike I can attack people with. <laughs> yeah, and if Mike, you want a crutch? I might have a crutch in the house if you want one. So. Oh yeah, you can you can monitor Matt's. <laughs> do, you, do you have any Velcro and explosives? Because that'll just complete it. Yeah, I'm a real whiz when it comes to explosives. <laughs> they call me the professor. <laughs> I can tape bombs to bows and arrows and toy cars. <laughs> like fucking maniac, dude. This dude is crazy. Uh, See, if you watch it without <laughs> having a, a mission with it, if you just watch it, it's that, yeah. like, yeah. These were never meant to be <laughs> remotely analyzed no. in any way. It, it's no, like, it's just it's like... It, Get you through your like refractory <laughs> period so that you can turn <laughs> off to the next scene. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't even know why we're putting dialogue on these I things. Thought he's a genius. He made a movie where you can come efficiently <laughs> like four times. <laughs> <laughs> like, he calculated it biologically. <laughs> I've created the perfect hybrid of film and pornography. <laughs> What if? And when they're not drinking off, they've got transportation. <laughs> like, yeah. God damn that it! Just, that just puts you in a completely different mindset. Like, oh, it's it's a car, man. I gotta I gotta focus on something else. Right, right. That just well, now that I yeah, I've had an down. orgasm and now I should watch. 
a hovercraft fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Until I'm ready again. Oh, I'm hard. All right. right let's do let's it. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Oh, there it is. Yeah. He's a genius. He knew his audience and he knew what he had to say and he said it. Man. That's it. Bye. We're not talking anymore. <laughs> You've just listened to Bonus Disc, available only on Thundergrunt. Questions, complaints, and movie suggestions can be posted to facebook.com slash bonus disc. Opinions and criticisms of the hosts of Bonus Disc are 100% valid, even though they took the time to watch the movies you were too ignorant to appreciate. 